Hi, my name is Scott Kruger with Kruger & Hodges. Uh, we're here today in Springfield, Ohio for another edition of Around Town Sports Edition. Uh, today's a really special day for me being an Ohio State graduate. Uh, we're here with Aaron Scott, true freshman from Springfield High School. Gonna be a cornerback at Ohio State 2024. Aaron, thank you for meeting with us today. Yes, sir, no problem. I got to start off with asking you about your announcement video. Uh, I watched it live, as I know a lot of uh, Buckeye fans did, and I got to tell you, it got me a little scared there at first. <laughs> uh, can you walk us through that that process and, and how you came up with that idea? Yeah, it really is my mom's idea. I was trying to think of something creative, and I really I knew I was going to go to Ohio State. I didn't know how I was going to announce it. I want to do something different. And, she, and I already had two book bags from my past visits. So she was like, just pull up Ohio State jersey out of the Team Up North book bag. And went, did that and it went viral. It was awesome. Yeah. Now I got to ask you, following up on that, how close were you uh, to considering the team up north? I was very close. It came down to like the, the day before. Oh, wow. Yeah. Then I talked to the coaches again, talked to my family. And I felt like being from Ohio, it was like way bigger than going to other school. And I felt like the resources and being close to my family for real was the biggest thing. Uh, did you enjoy the recruiting process? Uh, I, I said I did. It was the time I did, and I didn't. It kind of like got <laughs> annoying sometimes. Like once I knew I wanted to go, other schools trying to talk to me. I was trying to like just focus on like the main schools. Mm -hmm. Now I know you guys have an interesting schedule this year. We got mm -hmm. some teams from the Pac-12 now, now part of the Big Ten. Yes, sir. Uh, have you thought about the future schedule and, and any stadiums that you're kind of excited to play from? Obviously, away from Ohio State. Uh, Eugene, Oregon. That's a, the stadium I can't wait to play in. I feel like it's going to be crazy. They're going to have some crazy uniforms on against us. And like, I feel like the scenery is going to be great. All the fans are going to be there. That's the game I'm looking forward to playing in. And it's my understanding you're going to start the fall practice here uh, Wednesday, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, and I know you've been on campus since January. Mm -hmm. uh, have any of the upperclassmen taken you under your wing and kind of help you get used to what it takes to be a, a player for Ohio State? Yeah, I see a lot of players in the DB room, like Denzel Burke. IGB and Caleb Downs, really the main three. They don't like, they watching film with me, going over plays, letting me know, like holding me accountable for things I'm messing up and make sure I get better at it. They've been holding me accountable and being a teammate that I'm gonna need. Mm -hmm. um, I gotta ask you this too, cause I always find it interesting. Uh, in terms of food, mm -hmm. uh, have any of your teammates uh, kind of showed you around town and uh, introduced you to some of the some of the restaurant options there in Columbus? No, I haven't yet. For real, for real. I literally, I literally just be in my dorm, but I went to a couple places with a couple of friends. We go to some restaurants, but I ain't really talking to much people for real. All right, I got to give you a recommendation. Okay. And you can and you can tell me about it. All right. Thurman's. Thurman's. Have you heard of Thurman's? I haven't. They're famous for their Thurminator burger. Okay. You gotta try that out. All right. Pretty close to campus. Are you a pizza fan? Yeah, I like pizza. Try Adriatico's. I had that before. That's right by my dorm. All right. Yeah, I had all that right. before, yo. I eat that all the time. Very good. Sir. Um, I was looking this up. You're, you're from a, a town kind of similar in size as my partner and I. Mm -hmm. You're here in Springfield. And uh, did you know you're the, you're the first Ohio State scholarship from your high school since D. Miller in 1995? I did. So I ain't thought about it, but I did know that. It's been almost 30 that. years. Yeah, it's been a long time. And the and the first the first player from your town mm -hmm. uh, since Braxton Miller. Braxton Miller, yep. Yeah. You yeah. said how long it been? It, yeah. Uh, well, 1995. 1995. D. Miller from your high school, but yeah. then Springfield yeah, Braxton. Was, was Braxton Miller. That's a yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 So tell me, what does that mean? What does that mean to you? It means a lot. I feel like a lot of people from my city like look like I got a lot of kids looking up to me for real. Like I go like go went to the fair last week. We just opened it. A lot of people actually take pictures, like telling their kids, like changing that position to corner to be like me for real. So a lot of motivation, like being from the city and just knowing that I feel like I gotta be the one to make it, just like to show the youngers, the youngers when like it's possible, we could like it could happen. I think you had a couple of fans here as we were walking, yeah, yeah, walking yeah, in, couple, getting yeah, set up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, why don't you, um, why don't you walk us through a day uh, in the life of an Ohio State freshman? All right, so usually you probably like. Workouts at probably like 6.30 in the morning, wake up, uh, get ready, go to the facility, eat breakfast, work out. You might do, we do our dynamic stretch, then we'll do some conditioning, then we'll lift. And then after that, you might eat again, shower, go to class. Then your day pretty much over, for real. And you were telling us earlier off, off camera, uh, 
even today you're going to go home and, and watch some film. Mm -hmm. yes, so, you, so you do that when you go home as well up in Columbus? Yeah, any free time I have, I try to watch film, go over plays, just do what I can do to try to get me on the field my freshman year as much as possible. I feel like the playbook is like the only thing that would be holding me back for a couple like the other players that got more like knowledge than me. So just learning from them and then like studying as much as I can, I feel like that would help me the most. Uh, amongst your classmates, uh, who do you get excited to practice against? Jeremiah Smith. Yes, sir. And, and have you had have you had an opportunity to go yeah, up we, against him? We, we've been up there a lot. I feel like iron shot my iron, one of them things. I feel like they saying like he the, he might be one of the best right here to come through the building for real. So just going against him, I feel like when it come during league year, we could be the one first corner and the first receiver to come mm -hmm. off the board from the same school. I think so. I th definitely think you guys are trending in that direction. For Ohio State fans, we're we're all familiar with with this concept of the brotherhood that Ohio mm -hmm. State has for to sure. offer. Have you experienced that yet? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Every day. It's like players that like you wouldn't think that I talk to would come up to me. They just like to know who I am, like ask me questions. I'm like, if I need any help, like give me rides anywhere, or schoolwork, anything. It's real. Like, I just think like they were just saying that, like just say it, but it's real. Like every the whole staff, everybody look up. Did you notice it even during the recruiting process? Yeah, I did. They felt me that I felt the most comfortable there. That's like another reason. I feel like and just being from Ohio just made it more easier. And I feel like my boy, this is because I just connected with him a lot. Like, I feel like before football, I kind of already knew him for real. And I know you've been on campus since January and, and we were talking earlier. So you already have your roommates, you know who mm -hmm. you're going to be living with. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell me about that dynamic? Because you're you're living with uh, two other guys that mm -hmm. are also playing the same position. Mm -hmm. So does that does that cause some some anxiety? Or are you guys working together nah, just trying like, to get better? I look at them like my brothers for real. Like, I feel like I already grew up with them. I know a lot about them. It's not really like a, we all, obviously we all trying to compete for the same thing, but it's not like I'm trying to like not help you or whatever. Like we go to the dorm, we go back to our crib and we go over plays together. Like we just ask each other questions about certain coverages. We try to make every, we trying to all play with each other for real. That's how we trying to make it. We trying to be the best class to come through there. So it's not like a, it's a love, love, not love, hate. We all trying to get to the same goal. I feel like we could all, why one of us could do it, we all could go to the league at the same time. Very good. Uh, have you set some goals for yourself for this upcoming year? This year, my goal is to get freshman All-American. That's really freshman All-American. Yes, yeah, it's kind of hard. I love like, it. Yeah, freshman All-American. That's my main goal right now. Winning Natty, freshman year. I love it, yes, sir. I love it. So you got a personal goal and you got a team goal. Yes, sir. Is there a player? Is there a player that you most most look forward to playing with? IGB number one. I feel like he got like that dog in him. I feel like. Like what I see in him is like seeing myself, like my freshman year, like how he played with so much energy and physical and all that. I, I can't wait to play with him. And Jermaine Matthews, he another corner from Ohio, went to Ohio Cincinnati. Yeah. And he he had a great year. He got freshman All-American last year. I feel like two Ohio boys on the same field for Ohio State, that is just, that's history right there. Why don't you talk to us about the academic side of Ohio mm -hmm. State? Uh, are you, I, I presume that you're signed up for classes now? Yes, sir, yeah. Okay. We got a lot of resources, like got tutors, I feel like they got the best, like the education is crazy. Like they gonna make sure you on top of your work. Even if you want, don't wanna do it, they gonna make sure you get it done. And they oh, they help you with open arms. So like whenever you need anything, late night, middle of night, morning, whenever, they gonna help you make sure you get your work done, stay on top of everything. Have you have you thought about uh, what you're gonna be studying at Ohio State? Right now it's sports industry, but I'm not sure that's what I'm gonna stay in. Right now, that's what I'm in, but next year, I'm either going to stick with it or next year I'm going to try to find like what I think I'm going to actually be able to do with this major. What kind of careers uh, does that does that major kind of lead into? Uh, like management. That's what I know. Management. That's probably, that's like the main thing I was thinking about with the sports industry. Sports management. Yeah, sports management. So Aaron, uh, obviously when, when you were a younger player, I'm sure you had uh, a few players maybe that you looked up to, mm -hmm. uh, whether they were in high school at the time or maybe college in the pros. Can you talk about that? I said Raheem Moss. I feel like he was a big, mainly for basketball, I feel like growing up, he was a big time player. And then Braxton Miller, I feel like he just like, somebody that's like made history to come through our school. And then he went to the Aurora school, obviously, but I feel like them two people was like, played a big role in me wanting to pursue my sport and Trader Priest. He went to Alabama, that's my cousin. Yeah. I looked up to him, I'm like, if he could do it, I feel like I could do it too. Uh, ha have any of them reached out to you? Yeah, soon? I talked to all of them still. They give me pointers. I'm like, ask them like how to get through like freshman year. Like, how do you go about this and that? Just trying to learn more things, get more knowledge out of them. And then I, I know you're probably interested in coming back to Springfield and, and sharing some of that knowledge with, with your former teammates. Mm -hmm. uh, have you had an opportunity to do that yet? Yeah, I went to a couple of practices. Just tell them like they got this first game coming up. Tell them like, we went to 
three state, we on three state run, but we got uh, we lost to St. Ed three in a row. I'm gonna tell them like this y'all's year for real. Like I couldn't do it. They got somebody got to do it from the city. I feel like they got the best chance. Like Coach Doug, he's been having on a historic run. I feel like we got the weapons and stuff to make that happen. Sure. Uh, one thing I know a lot of other Ohio State fans are familiar with is the Real Life Wednesdays. Now, is that a program that still happens at Ohio State? Yes, sir. Wednesday, Coach Dave, make sure we stay on top of it. Sometimes it might be talking about speeding. We might go through taxes, talk about grades. But everything they talk about gambling, just things that, like, you should think about outside of football. Well, listen, Aaron, I really appreciate you taking the time with us today. This was a thrill for me as, a, as an Ohio State grad and, and, a, and an Ohio State football fan. Uh, we really, uh, really appreciate you taking the time with yes, us sir. today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir.